tonight's families are Tony, Jan, Tony, John and Adrian, the Nate family from Wolverhampton. And they're playing Linda, Ray, Denise, Lee and Paul, the Keneally family from Old Windsor in Berkshire. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Thank you, good evening and welcome to the show again. As usual, we've got two great families hoping to go all the way to £3,000 in our jackpot big money game. Do you know that Family Fortunes, we found out, was played in ancient Europe? Hundred soldiers were surveyed and the first question was, name something besides elephants that Hannibal took across the Alps. And the top answer was, a very large dustpan and brush. <laughs> Thanks a heap. <laughs> Let's meet the families. We meet the Naik family. Tony, how are you? All right, thank you. Did I pronounce that right? The yes, Naik? correct. The Naik family. Correct, yeah. And where have you brought your family from? Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, but originally you're from India, yeah? That's right. Yeah. All right, Tony, introduce us to your family. Wife, Jan. Jan. Hello, Jan. Hello, Les. How are you? It's all right, thank you. Son, Tony. Hello, Tony. Hello, Les. My son, Jonathan. Hi, Les. Hi, John. And son, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. Hello, Liz. Good to see you. And do you ever go back to uh, India, Tony? I did, yeah. Yeah? You did, did once? Yeah, once, but after 25 years I've been here. Yeah? That was 1979 I went. You went back? Yeah. And something happened, didn't it? And it... Oh, yes. What? <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went, we went uh, to India and we stopped at uh, Dubai airport. Yeah. And uh, we went through the custom, emptied the bags, and they found Balcock. <laughs> we found a bull cup. Uh, copper pipe. <laughs> copper pipe. <laughs> and shower unit. <laughs> Are you a plumber? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> How come you mm. had all that in your bag? Well, uh, I was trying to modernise uh, my mum's uh, shower room and all that <laughs> in India, see? <laughs> <laughs> so you took it back with you? Yeah, I did. Didn't they find tea as well? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Finally taking a tea to India. You took tea you. to <laughs> India? <laughs> I did, yeah. China tea? Uh, no. <laughs> Indian tea? <Yeah. laughs> tea, tea bags. bags. <laughs> Don't they have tea bags in India? Yeah. No. No? no. <laughs> well, they have now. Yes, they yeah. have. <laughs> Great. All right, there's the Naik family. Let's go mm. over now and meet the Keneally family. <laughs> Linda. Hello, Liz. Linda Keneally. It's Linda Marshall. Actually. Linda Marshall. I'm married oh, to the You're Keneally. married into the Keneally family. Yeah. No, I married into the Marshall family. Oh, you married into the Marshall family, but originally... <laughs> I was a Keneally, yeah. Confused? <laughs> <laughs> you will be. <laughs> and, and obviously, congratulations to Linda, because oh, can we see on camera that Linda is expecting? Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so it's family way fortunes. <laughs> <laughs> When's it due? In about five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. I'm hoping well, I'm going to last out the evening. Yeah, well, we should be. Uh, we'll try and go as quickly as we can for you tonight. <laughs> you know, when I, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, we were very poor and my mum couldn't afford a cot. <laughs> so she put me in a drawer. <laughs> but she didn't sell any tickets. <laughs> Linda, where have you brought your family from? Old Windsor in Berkshire. Old Windsor. Introduce us to your family. This is Paul, my husband. Hi, Paul. Hi, Liz. This is Ray, my brother. Hi, Ray. Hi, Liz. Denise, my sister-in-law. Hello, Liz. Hi, Denise. And Lee, my brother. Hi, Lee. Hi, All Liz. right, I think we'd better get on, haven't we, as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. So let's, that's the families met. Let's play Family Fortunes. <laughs> Linda B. Tony. 100 people surveyed, and the top eight answers are on the board. We ask you to find those answers, the most popular ones. And if you feel you have one of those answers, press your buzzer immediately. We asked 100 people to name something from the garden you could put in a pie. <coughs> Linda. Apples. 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 <coughs> it's there, but there's a more popular one. Tony, what do you think? Raspberry. Raspberries. Mm. I, hope, I hope you don't get one. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for raspberries. <coughs> yes, it's there, but it means that you have control of the board, Linda. What do you want to do as a family? Play or pass? Play. 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 You're going to play. OK, rejoin your family, Linda. And remember, the Naik family, you might get a chance to steal later, so you should get your heads together. Paul, what happened to you at the age of 14? Oh, it's a bit <laughs> embarrassing. It's a bit embarrassing. Yeah. Why? Well, uh, I was upstairs listening to some music in Lynn's room. Oh, listening to music? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the street door went, and uh, someone came up the stairs, and it turned out to be the uh, mother-in-law. So I dived out the window. <laughs> she told me to get out, so I dived out the window. 
What? Took all the curtains with me. Well, well mum was very strict. She was very strict. Was very strict. Boyfriends yeah. in the bedroom. Like... Wasn't allowed to have boyfriends in the bedroom. Yeah, and I landed on the the porch above the door. Yeah. And the gardener in the next door garden was he was digging his garden like with his little boy, and they sort of looked up at me and <laughs> couldn't believe what was happening. Like, but if you had a mother-in-law like mine, you'd done the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to suffer for that. Yeah? You've been listening to music lately, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you <laughs> What do you think, Paul? Something from the garden, you could put it in a pie. <laughs> maybe, maybe you saw something as you jumped out the window there. Good, Breeze. Yes, answer number three, and you've won a prize, Paul. Great. Steve, what have we got? Well, Paul, now that you're going to be working in the kitchen from here on out, this will be a help. You've won a microwave oven. <laughs> I think you better give it to your mother-in-law as a peace offering, yeah, do you? I think I'll better as well, yeah. <laughs> Ray, how are you? Fine, thanks. What do you think? Something from the garden you could put in a pie? Blackberries. Yes, answer number seven. Five people said blackberries. Well played. We're going well here. There are one, two, three, four answers to reveal and no lives left. Denise. Hello. Um, pears. Pears. All right. <laughs> Don't know whether we have pear pies, do we? <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a pair of apples you were talking about. <laughs> Lee. Black currants. Black currants. Yes. So, three answers to reveal now. Two lives left. Linda. Cherries. Cherries. <laughs> no, two lives have gone. So, the Nake family, get your heads together because you might get a chance to steal. Paul. Red currants. Red currants. <laughs> no, so the Nake family, if you can find one of those missing Rhubarb. answers. Rhubarb. 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 Yeah. Rhubarb. If rhubarb is there, you have the money in the bank. We're looking for rhubarb. <laughs> Top answer. <laughs> So after the first round, the Nate family have £44. The Keneally family, out of the Marshall family, still have to score. <laughs> but let's see, what, what are those missing answers? Answer number six is... Strawberries. And answer number four is... The potato. The potato, of course. It's like, the, it's like the, the mummy potato and the two little yuppie potatoes, two girls, and the mummy said, now they're potatoes. <laughs> Who do you fancy marrying when you grow up? And, the, and one little girl, she said, damn, I fancy marrying Prince Edward. <laughs> <laughs> said, very good choice. What about you? And she said, I fancy marrying um, Harry Carpenter. And the mummy said, oh, no, he's just a commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Is on the board, let's go straight on and play Family Fortunes. <laughs> Paul and Jan, 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Name a problem you have with your feet. Corn. Jan. Corns. Corns. Let's look for corns. Yes, it's a top answer. What do you want to do? Yeah. You're going to play? play? All right, play. rejoin your family and remember the Keneally family that you should confer in case you get a chance to steal. Jan, you haven't got anything wrong with your feet, but what have we got <laughs> here? Um, well, I was dancing at an engagement party and we are doing the gay Gordon and I just went flying through the air and <laughs> landed on my hand. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you go flying through the air in the gay Gordons? <laughs> It was a rough party. <laughs> it was a little bit rough with them. Was he? A bit rough. <laughs> Tony. What were you up to in the Gay Gardens? No, I wasn't going back. You were going back? <laughs> and let you go. <laughs> right, Tony. Yes. How are you doing? All right, thanks. We're looking for a problem you have with your feet. Veruca. Veruca. Hey, it was a good answer, but it wasn't there. You couldn't spell it. it. That's, couldn't that's spell right. It. They couldn't spell it, so they said, nah, it's not there. <laughs> 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 All right, we've lost a life. What do you think, John? Uh, Ingrowing toenail. Ingrowing toenail. Uh, That's fairly safe to spell, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Let's have a look for an ingrowing toenail. Yes, yeah. answer number six. Well played. Five people said ingrowing toenail. Adrian, do you have problems with your feet? Not usually, no. No? no. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being personal, I was just. <laughs> what do you think? Um, sores. Sores. Sores on your feet. Blisters will accept. Well played, Adrian. All right, so how are we going now? Three answers to reveal. Tony? Not growing properly. <laughs> <laughs> T 
two lives have gone, so the Keneally family, you might get a chance to steal. Jan. Uh, yes, um, uh, rough skin. Rough skin. <laughs> no, so the Keneally family, if you can find one of those missing answers, you've stolen the money. It's a secret, this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, what do you think? Athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. Everybody decided on that. Yeah. We're looking for athlete's foot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well played. <laughs> so now the Keneally family have £57. The Nake family have £44. Answer number three. <clears throat> Bunions. Of course. And answer number two. Oda. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me, Tony. 100 people surveyed. Uh, top six answers on the board. We asked 100 people to name something you memorise. <laughs> Tony. Telephone number. Telephone number. Let's have a look for telephone numbers. To top answer. What are you going to do, Tony? Play. Play. Yeah. 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 All right, Tony. Do you rejoin your family. Um, I've memorised 200 phone numbers. If I could remember the people's names, I'd be, in... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be able to know who was phoning. What do you think, John? Car registration number. Yes! Well. Answer number five. Adrian, it's something you memorise. Your maths timetable. No! So we lose a life. Tony, what do you think? Your army official number. Your army... Official number. Official number. Yeah. Were you in the army, Tony? Navy. Navy? Yeah. Six four I did too. <laughs> 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 you only memorised the army one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your army number. No, so two lives have gone. So the Keneally family. Wouldn't it be terrible if Navy yeah. numbers up there? Yeah. <laughs> Keneally family, you might get a chance to steal Jan. Uh, your national insurance number. National insurance mm. number. Good answer. Your national insurance number. <laughs> no, so the Keneally family. What do you think? Address. What's Addresses. Addresses. <laughs> no. So the Nate family work plays. <laughs> Answer number six is timetable. Not times table, but timetable bus or train timetable. Answer number four. Names, people's names. Answer number three. Bank card number. Bank card number. You know when you go for checkout, not beep, 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 beep. Isn't it awful? Don't you get really embarrassed when you're there? And, and there's always somebody behind you, and you can't get money out. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, I only wanted a statement. <laughs> <laughs> Answer number two is... Birthdays. Birthdays. Oh, of course, I can't even remember my brother's birthday. And he's my twin. <laughs> <laughs> So, we've got £103 to the, to the Nake family, £57 to the Keneally family. We're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes when one of our families has the chance of playing for £3,000. We'll see you then. <laughs> stage in the game, the Nake family from Wolverhampton have no prizes yet, but £103 in the bank. The Keneally family from Old Windsor in Berkshire have a microwave oven and £57 in the bank. Let's see what happens now as we go into double money. <laughs> OK, Denise, meet John. 100 people surveyed, and this time we're looking for the top six answers. Remember, double money means just that, all the answers revealed. If they were worth a pound before, they're now worth two pounds and so on. Top six answers to find. We asked 100 people to name a character from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Denise. Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy <laughs> is answer number two, but there's a more popular one. John. Wizard. The oh. wizard himself. Yeah. The Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. <laughs> He's there, but he isn't the most popular one, so you have Play. control. Play. 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 You're going to rejoin your family then, Denise, and, of course, the Nake family. Get your heads together in case you get a chance to steal. How are you on the film there, Lee? The Wizard of Oz. Uh, the Tin Man. The Tin Man. <laughs> Top answer. Well played, Lee. <laughs> Three answers to find, Linda. The Lion. 
the lion, the cowardly <laughs> lion. Put him up, put him up. <laughs> Let's see if he's there. Put him up. The lion. Yes. <laughs> Play. <laughs> Two answers to find, and I'm auditioning for The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> The Scarecrow. The Scarecrow. We would have accepted Bob Geldof. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look for the Scarecrow, cos this family need the money. For God's sake, we need to see the Scarecrow. <laughs> the Scarecrow! <laughs> yes, answer number three. <laughs> One answer to find, Ray, to win the money. Wicked Witch. <laughs> no, so we lose a life. Denise. The dog. The dog. Toto. <laughs> yes, Toto the dog! Well done. So, suddenly a change in fortunes. £251 to the Keneally family, £103 to the Nake family. No answers to reveal, so let's play on. <laughs> Lee and Adrian. 100 people surveyed, this time we're looking for the top four answers. Name something a car dashboard instrument tells the driver. Adrian. Speed. 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 Yeah, Top yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do, Adrian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. Yeah. He did that with speed, didn't he? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. He's nearly away. <laughs> like a policeman stopped me. He yeah. said, you've been, you've been doing 90 miles an hour. I said, I've only been out 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Tony? Something yeah. a car dashboard instrument tells the driver. Temperature. You haven't got a bath in your car as well, I think. Yeah. <laughs> we lose a yeah, life. Yeah. So, Jan, what do you think? Are you um, a driver? Yes. Yeah, but not at the moment. No, not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, petrol. Fuel gauge. Answer number two. And you've won a prize as well. <laughs> Steve, what has Jan won? Well, now, Jan, you can both see the picture and read the text because you've won this smashing Teletext TV. Teletext. No, it's we haven't stuff. got to tell you at the moment. You haven't got to tell you. It's had an accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to it, Jan? Uh, I, I knocked it off. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, you're very accident prone, aren't you? You knocked it off. Well, I was having trouble getting the aerial in the back and I sort of pushed it too far forward and it fell on the floor and ran. <laughs> you shouldn't have been doing the Gay Gordons at the time. <laughs> Great. All right, Tony, something a car dashboard instrument tells the driver. Number of miles that you've done. Mileage, answer number three. Well played. <laughs> Just short of one answer now, John. If you can find um, it, you've won the money. The revs. The revs. Yeah, a rev yeah. counter. <laughs> Two lives gone. The Keneally family might get a chance to steal. Adrian. Um, tell us that your indicators are on. Tells you that your indicators are on. <laughs> no, so the Keneally family, if you can find that missing answer, you got the money. Oil pressure. Your oil pressure. Well, if oil pressure is that missing answer, you've won the money. And not only that, you go through the £300 barrier and you're playing for big money. If not, the money goes to the Nake family. We're looking for oil pressure. <laughs> yes. Oil warning. Good day. <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Great sports. Yeah. Lovely family. You have to go back to Wolverhampton with a Teletext TV and £103. Not bad, eh? But, but don't try taking that Teletext TV through the customs all to right. India, all right? <laughs> Will be great. The Nig family. Yeah, right. Okay, Linda, who's paying big money? Paul and Lee. Paul and Lee, would you like to join me front and centre, please? <laughs> all right, Paul, you're playing first. Lee, you're going to go and listen to some music. Put the headset on so you can't hear any of Paul's answers. We'll see you in a minute. I'm going to ask you five questions, Paul. You have 15 seconds to answer. The time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Clear? Yeah. Can we have 15 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Name a kitchen item that comes in different sizes. Saucepan. A country where there has been a war this century. Uh, Middle East. Something you steer. Car. Something you might clean out. Car. A popular breed of dog. Alsatian. Yeah, all right, good. Well played, Paul. Let's have a look. We need 200 points between yourself and Lee to win that £3,000 to add to the £417 in the bank and the microwave oven that you're giving to your mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> 
First of all, I asked to name a kitchen item that comes in different sizes. You said... A saucepan. Our survey said... 39. Good start. Then I asked to name a country where there has been a war this century. You said... The Middle East. Our survey said... 13. We got 52 from two answers. Then I asked to name something you steer. You said... A car. Our survey said... 59. We're going well. 111. Two answers to reveal yet. Then I asked to name something you might clean out. You said... A car. Our survey said... <laughs> Nothing for car. But don't worry. We've still got an answer to reveal. I finally asked to name a popular breed of dog. You said... Alsatian. Our survey said... 40. Well played. 151. Rejoin your family. We'll clear the board. Welcome back, Lee. Good news is Paul has scored 151. Cool. So you yeah. only need 49. But don't forget, that means that a lot of the top answers have probably already gone. So, I'm going to ask you uh, five questions, the same five questions I asked Paul, and you have 20 seconds to answer. An extra five seconds in case you duplicate any of the answers we've had. If you do, you'll hear this sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers that Paul gave me? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Ready? Ready. Good luck. Name a kitchen item that comes in different sizes. Knives. A country where there's been a war this century. Pass. Something you steer. Car. Something else. Truck. Something you might clean out. Animals. Den. A popular breed of dog. Ash station. Oh, we'd had that, I, th I think, and the time was just up. But don't worry, we only need 49. Let's see how we've done. First of all, I asked to name a kitchen item that comes in different sizes. You said... Knives. Our survey said... 12. We'd already had the top answer, which was saucepan, and was worth 39. So we've now got 163. We need 37. Four answers to reveal, or rather three answers, I think, isn't it? Then I asked to name a country where there has been a war this century. You said... No, you passed on that, of course. You passed on that and so scored nothing. But the top answer was Falklands and would have given you 14 points. So we still need 37. I then asked you to name something you steer. You first of all gave us the answer we'd already had, which was car. You then said... Truck. Car was the top answer, but if truck is worth 37 or more, you have £3,000. You said truck. Our survey said... Oh. Nothing for truck. I thought it would have been there. I then asked you to name something you clean out. You said... Den, animals den. If it's worth 37 or more, you have the money. You said den, our survey said... 12. 175. I then asked you a popular breed of dog, but you ran out of time, sadly. We'd already had Alsatian. <clears throat> By the way, the top answer for something you clean out was cupboard and was worth 42 and would have taken you through. But look, we've got £175. We're going to double that. We'll add it to the money you've already got, plus the microwave oven, which gives you a Keneally family fortune of... £767. Okay. Well played, Lee. Rejoin your family. That's all we've got time for. We'll see you. Bye. Do you think those beefcakes on Ninja Warrior ever stop and have a fat cola and a dirty, greasy burger? Probably not. But who's the real winners, eh? Ninja Warrior. Weeknights at six on Challenge.